Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, did you know that the number one drug prescribed in America this year was a statin drug for lowering cholesterol? In fact, in the top 10 most often prescribed drugs, two of them were cholesterol lowering. Additionally, for the past 20 years, these cholesterol lowering statin drugs have been the most often prescribed drugs and the biggest money makers. Yet, the rate of heart disease, you know, the heart attacks and strokes, has not gone down in the past two decades. In fact, it keeps going higher and higher. And the older you are, the worse the statistics are. And this includes both men and women. So the question is, why are things only getting worse when you know more and more people are taking these cholesterol-lowering drugs? Also, why are these drugs working to save lives? And finally, what's the real cause of high cholesterol and how can you fix it naturally? However, before I continue, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now while it's fresh in your mind because I've got some very important videos coming out soon about this and similar heart health topics and I don't want you to miss out. All right, so to make a long story short, back in 1998, both my parents were prescribed these you know, toxic statin drugs to lower their cholesterol. During that year, they just felt so horrible with all the negative side effects that I got them off the drugs and really pushed the natural lifestyle. And the good thing is that they were already eating pretty well, but you know, I turned it up a notch and got super strict with them. Now, my dad has always exercised, but I increased it with him and added it with my mom. And the good news is that their cholesterol levels did improve, but unfortunately, not my much. And then this is when their doctor said, see, you know, you gotta get back on these drugs. But I refused and I had to find a solution. And I mentioned this story because if you've had similar challenges in your lifestyle with all this and haven't gotten the results that you were hoping for in lowering your cholesterol or you're confused or frustrated about this topic, you're not alone. In fact, it tends to be typical. And what I've discovered during those next few months of doing research about this topic, you know, because I was new to it back then, is that the real cause of high cholesterol is the negative changes in your hormones due to aging. And it happens to women almost instantly because of menopause, while more gradually with men. And you know, if you think about it, this explains why young people in their teens and 20s, right, they eat junk, right, they don't eat rest enough or even exercise, and yet their cholesterol levels are still healthy. And this is because they have good hormone levels, which quickly helps eliminate excess cholesterol, and more importantly, repairs, you know, their organs and blood vessels. But don't worry or lose hope or think you can't fix this because you're getting older. In a minute, I'll show you how you can easily and quickly fix your cholesterol problems naturally without drugs, restrictive diets, or crazy exercise programs. So keep watching. However, the other problem with these cholesterol-lowering drugs is that they only focus on lowering cholesterol. And you don't want that. Listen, cholesterol has many benefits. In fact, low cholesterol can be just as bad as high cholesterol. And low cholesterol actually causes depression, low sex drive, and earlier death. What you want to do is improve all of your lipids and the ratios. And this includes having healthy cholesterol levels, you know, not low or high, optimized HDL, LDL ratios, lower fatty triglycerides. You also want to improve your homocysteine levels and so forth. Now, the next problem with aging is that our livers, right, the liver organ, aren't as strong as they used to be. Getting older, right, taking the prescription drugs, drinking alcohol, the toxicity in our foods and the air and so forth all make the liver and kidneys weaker. And most people don't know, but 80% of your cholesterol is made in your liver and not from the foods you eat. And this is why diet changes don't usually make that big of an improvement. The problem is internal, not external. So in addition to improving your lipid levels and the ratios, you also want to keep your liver healthy. You want to detox, cleanse, repair, and strengthen your liver. Okay, so how can we fix all these things? Listen, as I learned more and more, I started implementing all of these changes with my parents. I basically gave them specific, you know, nutrients that an aging or, you know, more mature body needs so it can help heal itself from within naturally. Remember something very important. Your body is a self-cleaning and self-healing organism. 
if you give it what it requires. And when you do, your body helps fix all of these years of damage or neglect, right? Your hormones will start to improve, you'll have more energy, and you'll feel younger. And if you want more details about the exact formula I use with my parents that naturally lower their cholesterol by, you know, almost over 30 points in only 30 days, just click the link in the description area below and watch the next video. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up or share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments and questions below. And don't forget to click the link in the description area and watch the next video so you can copy the same formula my parents have used for almost 20 years to fix their cholesterol problems naturally. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.